Hello everyone. <clears throat> uh, hope all of you are doing well. And you cannot see my face here. I'm so sorry. You cannot see my face here. Why? Because uh, there is some technical issue. The technical issue is that here there is no current power. That, that, because of that, that's okay. Shakal mein kya hai, sir? What is there in the face? You just have to understand the concept. Hai ki nahi? Agree, everyone. Text to me now. You can text to me now. Hi, Sanmi ji. Hi, good evening. Who else? Who else? Anusha, hello. Where is Gauri ji? Hi, good evening. Nishita, hello. Anvita, hi. And Pranjal ji, hello. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome. And how many participants? Somewhere, somewhere, 11 participants. Disha left. Okay, Disha right. Snehal is here. Hello, Snehal. Good evening, everyone. I hope that you all are doing well. And plus, you are studying, yes or no? Studying, right? I believe that yes, you are studying. Okay. Sir, or nahi to kya sir? Kya kaam hai sir? We are studying sir. Don't worry. We are studying. Don't worry sir. We will make sure that next we will attend your GST class. Correct no? You will attend my GST class? Please do attend. Yes, very good. Huh. There are students who say yes to this. Okay. So I wish to see you all in that big batch crowd. So I wish to see you all there. Okay. I wish, I pray, and I'm confident that you will be in next time. I will address you as an inter-student. So you should be inter-students. Okay. Huh. Manaji, I saw your face. Not fun, yeah. Okay, here. <clears throat> market failure, we were doing unit number two. Market failure and intervention to correct the market failure. Government intervention. Government will interfere to correct the market failure. First of all, tell me what is market failure? The market will fail to allocate the resources in a right way. So it will allocate the resources to those things which were where it will allocate the resources to those uh, things or to those activities where it is actually not required. So that is market failure. So that is market failure here. The concept of market failure can be two types of market failure. One is complete market failure. The second one is partial market failure. Now the question is, sir, what is the meaning of complete market failure? Complete market failure means there is no market at all. For these kind of products, there is no market at all. So that is complete market failure. You can listen to my voice, right? Is there any disturbance? No. I believe no. There is no disturbance, sir. Okay. So one is complete market failure. What is the meaning of complete market failure? Complete market failure means there is no market at all. For example, pure public goods. Completely market will fail to give any resources to the pure public goods. For example, road, dams, canals, like this. So if I have some money, I will never contribute to that. See, now we have to contribute because government is there. Government is taking some money and it will give it to the these kind of things. But market economy, what is market economy? Capitalist economy where the uh, this, the capitalist economy where the intervention of the government is not there. So that is capitalist economy. The government intervention is zero. Complete, completely it is uh, the market which is taking care of everything. Yes, that is complete market failure. Now, what is partial market failure? What is the meaning of partial market failure? Partial market failure is that one where either the wrong quantity is produced, either wrong quantity is produced or 
the price the price which is charged no it can be too high that is partial market failure where it is produced but not in the required quantity it is produced but not in a required quantity that is partial market failure so it is given here uh, what is that it produces either wrong quantity of producers uh, of a producer product at the wrong price either wrong quantity or wrong price that is partial market failure okay sir understood next one why do market fail you know that we already discussed that there are four reasons four major reasons for market failure number one monopoly <clears throat> market power because of the market power so what is mark monopoly the power in the market is given to some particular person that is market power and we discussed that because of market power no the guys or those who has the power over the market they go monopoly and they can set their own prices high prices they will set and the second one is they create artificial uh, shortage artificially they will create some shortage here that is market power ka one failure how the government will interfere to clear this market power how the government will interfere they start producing the product earlier it was there in the private hands now the government starts producing the product at the cheap rate that is dilution of the market power okay next one is externality do you know what is externality externality is nothing but there are two kinds internality and externality for example i am giving you the class okay you are listening to the class now that is internality i get one advantage you also get one advantage so that is internality but if you listen to the class in the dj speaker i volume may you are listening to the class sir your voice is so sweet sir and we will we'll, we will listen to the class at the dj speaker and that will disturb others no now there is your uh, sibling or any cousin or your uh, uh, roommates roommates they are listening to the cs class and you are putting it in the dj what happens that will disturb others that is externality to them it is externality but to you it is internality so externality can be of four types so positive production externality positive negative production externality positive consumption externality uh po negative consumption externality now what is positive production externality the production ke hisab se on the basis of production that produced product no the product which is produced that has some positive externality okay for example i have a gardening if i do gardening that will uh, give me some satisfaction at the same time that will give you the satisfaction neighbors my neighbors my neighbors will get the satisfaction just by looking at that is chanagide that is one production externality negative production externality sir for example if i am producing something remember the steel example steel industry ka example when i am producing something okay when i ek minute yeah when i produce something that something which is produced because of which the untreated water pollution that will create some hazards to the outsiders that is negative production externality consumption externality sir i consume something because of which others will get the advantage for example during covid 19 if i was wearing mask when i wear mask that will give some externality that will uh, my uh, me being contracted with that uh, disease that will get reduced because of which others also now they don't have the fear of getting contracted with that uh, what with that disease that is because of me consuming mask so others are getting the advantage that is one externality okay positive production negative production consumption externality also then now what is the cost sir what are the types of cost social cost what is social cost it is private cost plus external cost put together it is social cost okay private cost plus external cost put together it is social cost okay next one 
कि एक मिनट यस उसके बाद वी डिस्कस वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट पब्लिक गुड्स वी डिस्कस अबाउट पब्लिक गुड्स व्हाट इज पब्लिक गुड्स सर इट इज प्योर पब्लिक गुड्स एक्सक्लूडेबल एंड नॉन राइवल रिस्क यू टेल मी व्हाट इज एक्सक्लूडेबल सॉरी नॉन एक्सक्लूडेबल इट इज नॉन एक्सक्लूडेबल दैट मीन्स यू इफ आई एम यूजिंग दैट आई कैनॉट रिस्ट्रिक्ट अदर्स फ्रॉम यूजिंग इट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज नॉन एक्सक्लूडेबल i cannot exclude others from using it so this is non excludable public goods are non excludable and non rivalrous what is non rivalrous see for example apple product uh, this fruit fruit apple fruit no if i consume you cannot consume that that is rivalrous non rivalrous means if i consume that will not get reduced for example sunlight if i consume it will not get reduced road if i consume it will not get diminished or reduced that is public goods now what is the market failure in case of public goods no one will produce that goods sir that is market failure market will fail to produce that goods roads dams canals market will fail to produce that goods no so that will become public goods public goods are non rivalrous at the same time public goods are uh what the ex non excludable so the government will produce these things so government only produces because of its market failure that we discussed now we have to start with asymmetric information or incomplete information that is also a reason last reason for market failure that is incomplete information the complete information is an important element of the competitive market correct no if i don't have the complete information about one product why will i purchase that now you example i will sell you my phone if i say that will you purchase the phone will you purchase no why will you will not purchase because the main reason the main reason for not purchasing the phone is you don't know which phone sir i have to explain you this is iphone 13 will you purchase my phone no sir you have to explain me little extra that means how many days got over okay i will say that i purchased it on first 15th of august 2022 i'll purchase it on 15th of august 2022 okay sir i don't uh, see i want something extra information sir can you tell me what is the battery backup what is the battery life now like this i have to tell you i have to give you some extra information now you might purchase market information implies that both buyers and sellers have complete information about anything that may influence their decision making however this assumption is not fully satisfied in the real market correct no see complete information everyone both buyer and seller we want complete information if we have complete information then we will purchase otherwise why we will we will be interested in that so in real market do you think that seller will tell everything remember in your law sale of goods act sale of goods act mein we have already studied that sellers obligation see buyer be aware correct kb at enter let the buyer be aware but it will not happen every time in some cases it is buyer's duty it is buyer's duty to find out something you remember that there are two kinds that is latent defect and patent defect correct you remember there are two kinds of things that is latent defect and patent defect now sir what is the meaning of latent defect what is the meaning of latent defect even after doing some examination you cannot find out what is the defect that is latent defect what is patent defect once you do the examination immediately you will get to know what is the defect that is patent defect so now in soga sale of goods act we have studied that patent defect mein seller is liable latent defect mein buyer is liable so that it is not required that seller has to give all the informations it's not required that seller has to give all the information so there can be some of the cases where you, it is not possible to give all the informations example 
complexity of the product product itself is very complex sir very difficult to understand and services example cardiac surgery see if mr x if there is a patient who has to go for cardiac surgery even if the doctor explains he got bodu the this might be the case or this might be the side effects like this even if they explain do you think we will understand the no so that doesn't mean ki we should not go for it we have to go we don't have any other option and if a doctor says nimaginta issue ide you have these kind of issues i have to agree i have to believe in it do i have any other option than not believing it or uh, than believing it i have i don't have any other option than believing it so i have to believe and see if someone um, my relative about my parent if doctor say that high bp is very difficult and tumba uh, danger idu you have to do walk and give this i'll give you tablet i'll give you tablet you have to take this every day are i have to believe this do i have the complete knowledge no the the work is complex here because of complexity of the product i have to believe so it can be incomplete information also nowadays medical mafia that is also happening i am not saying everywhere 90% of the doctors are good doctors other 10% there might be a bad doctor 90% of the chartered accountants are good chartered accountant other 10% might be bad <laughs> so sorry other 10% there might be bad doctors dot bad chartered accountant difficulty of getting correct information okay sir i want to get the correct information about the bp or cardiac arrest where to get the correct information what is the trusted source correct i will not get the trusted source no yes sir next one deliberate misinformation in case of share market for example deliberately they will give misinformation example today the sbi share price is going to go up purchase it deliberately they will give the misinformation okay okay next one information failure result in market failure remember uh, now deliberate information ke liye highly persuasive advertisement sometimes advertisements are given highly persuasive what is the meaning of that it is just to persuade people to purchase the product this is this can be highly persuasive that uh, see the goods example goods they say that uh the tide tide detergent tide detergent no it will make uh, or it will vanish all the all the uh, stains so will it happen no it won't but still but still they will give some persuasive uh, highly persuasive advertisements so if i information fails if i fail to get the information the market will be a failure it can be asymmetric information what is asymmetric we both have example i am selling my laptop we both have the information but what i know that you don't know what you know that i don't know that's why you are purchasing it you think that this goods is very good goods you will purchase it and i know that what i'm selling no that is of no use so that is called as asymmetric asymmetric information occurs when there is an imbalance in information between the buyer and the seller in a sense when the buyer knows more than the seller or seller knows more than the buyer this can distort the choice i know more about myself for example see i know more about my phone but you don't know that is called as asymmetric information okay i know more about the goods what i'm selling but you don't know about the goods that which i which you are buying that is called as asymmetric for example landlord knows more about their properties than the tenants a borrower knows more about their capacity to repay than the banker lender a used car seller knows more about the vehicle quality than the buyer health insurance buyer if i am taking health insurance i know more about my health more about their state of health than the insurance companies and 
some traders may possess insider information in the financial market insider information that means they know something more about the uh, market okay they something no 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 more about the product or the market these are the situations in which one party to the transaction knows a material fact that the other party does not this phenomenon is an important source of market failure so that is that leads to market failure for sure adverse selection and moral hazards are the two central concept related to the problem of information gaps in the many market what is that adverse selection see because of because of of less information i will do some adverse selection what is adverse selection what is required that i don't purchase what is not required no that i will purchase that is called as adverse selection and moral hazard so what is moral hazard we will discuss wait moral hazard is nothing but reckless uh, use of the product reckless use that is moral hazard that will lead to moral hazard we will see that in detail here see adverse selection now asymmetric information generates adverse selection and affects a transaction before it occurs so before uh, occurring of the transaction i will do some adverse selection see when one party to a contract or negotiation say x possess information relevant to the contract or negotiation that the other party y does not have okay now the expected value of the transaction is known more accurately to x due to asymmetric information see x is selling goods and he knows more about the goods that means what he is trying to deceive someone correct no mosa madta idda nonu illidra yak sale madta nonu olle if there is more advantage in one product then why will he sell he won't sell no so there is expected value that is advantage of transaction is more accurately to x x knows it so that's why he is taking advantage then the party which has more information in a sense x may take advantage of y's ignorance and this could potentially put the uh, ignorant party y at a loss so this will put ignorant party y at loss for example okay we will go to inference market let me explain you with the example detailed example see listen insurance market health insurance okay insurance example health insurance in case of insurance market who will take insurance you tell me if you are healthy super healthy will you take insurance no we will not take insurance but still there are some people who are uh, even though they are healthy for future purpose they will take insurance so i say that out of 100 people in the insurance market out of 100 80 80% that is nothing but 80 80 people are unhealthy why because only after knowing their health and knowing about their health correct emergency purpose only after knowing about their health they will take this 80% of the people they take insurance other 20% no they are healthy but for emergency purpose as abhilash says for emergency purpose they will take the they will take the insurance healthy people even though they are healthy they will take the insurance now claim in the insurance will be more or less claims number of claims that will be more here unhealthy no that's why more number of claims more number of claims example this insurance company will give 5 lakh example 5 lakh rupees ka uh, what up to 5 lakh rupees ka uh, assurance they will give you the assurance if there is assurance if there is something happens to you we will give you to the extent of 5 lakhs now for example i will take i know that i have some health issue think i know that i have some health issue for 3 years 
I will pay the amount. Example, 20,000 rupees. 20,000 multiplied by 3. I have paid how much? 60,000 rupees. And one day something happens to me. I will claim to the extent of 3.6 lakhs. 3.6 lakhs. How much I paid, sir? 60,000. How much I am claiming? 3 lakhs 60,000. So what has happened to the market, the insurance company now? Now, to the insurance company, what has happened to the insurance company? A loss of 3 lakh. Correct? A loss of 3 lakh. People listen to me and you have to go as per what I say. So, 3 lakh rupees is their loss. Correct? To whom? Insurance company. To insurance company, ke liye 3 lakh rupees is the loss. This 3 lakh rupees... When there is 3 lakh rupees ka loss, okay, what they do? They want to recover this. Recover. How they recover? By increasing the premium. They will increase the premium here. When they increase the premium, what happens? Healthy people also get affected, no? Healthy people, they will also get affected. So, if healthy people get affected, then they stop purchasing. They reduce their demand. Correct? They reduce the demand for insurance. Akshay? Ha. Video, video. Your video is on. Akshay, your video is on. Very good. Ha. Akshay did switch off his video. So, demand. Demand for insurance will decrease when the demand insurance decreases no when the demand for insurance decreases then if the demand for insurance decreases by the healthy people but unhealthy people they don't have any other option they will they will be in that market so one fine day what happens here 90 percent of the people are unhealthy 90 percent of the people are unhealthy so, 10% of the people will be healthy. Again, because of unhealthy people are more, claim will increase again. Claim increases again, no. When the claim increases, then loss increases to the company. Loss will also increase. If loss increases, premium increases again. Again, what happens? One fine day, 100% of the people are unhealthy. 100% are unhealthy. 0% are unhealthy. So finally, the whole company, insurance company into loss, whole insurance company will go to loss, baba, loss. Then what happens? Insurance company, insurance company will shut their door. So that leads to, because of which all the insurance company shut their door, that leads to missing market. Hena, agree. That leads to missing market. There is no market for insurance. So this is the theory here. So now, listen. For example, in the insurance market, if the health insurance companies could costlessly identify the health risk of the buyer, then there is no asymmetric information and therefore insurer could all offer Low premium to the low risk buyers and high premium to the high risk buyers. Correct? No. If the unhealthy people are more, then they can charge high premium. Healthy people are more, then they can charge less premium. But there is no mechanism to find out. No. See, I will laugh in front of you or I keep smiling in front of you. But you don't know what is the health issue that I have. To know that, there is no mechanism. So, what they are doing? Insurance company, as a matter of fact, compared to the insurance buyers, insurance companies know less about the health condition of the buyer and are therefore unable to differentiate between high risk and low risk person. It is not possible to differentiate between high risk and low risk person. So what happens? Due to the tendency of the people with higher, uh, higher health risk to obtain the insurance coverage to a greater extent than the persons with lesser risk, the proportion of the unhealthy people in the pool of insured people increases. 
correct unhealthy people increases in such situations an insurance company extends insurance coverage to an applicant whose actual risk is substantially higher correct no so healthy people they will reduce their uh, the purchase purchase of insurance unhealthy people they will increase their purchase of insurance so that will increase the risk no by the insurance company by not revealing the actual state of health an applicant is leading the insurance company to make decision on the coverage or premium cost that are adverse to the insurance companies companies management of financial risk so that that means it will go on increasing the risk of the financial health of the company correct no more unhealthy people are there that will increase the financial risk due to heavy insurance claim the premium of insurance raises so that the more unhealthy people being aware of their low risk choose not to be insured correct healthy people sorry more healthy people being aware of their low risk choose not to be insured this further increase the proportion of the unhealthy people among the insured thus raising the price of the insurance awards upwards insurance no the premium price that increases why because more number of claims more losses so that we have to recover how to recover sir by increasing the insurance premium the process continues until most people who want to buy insurance are unhealthy process continues till till the all the people are unhealthy having more unhealthy insurance buyers make insurance company very expensive in the extreme cases the insurance company stop selling the insurance leading to missing market i just told you now it will lead to missing market if the seller wish to do the business profitably they may have to incur considerable cost in terms and in time and money for identifying the extent of risk for different buyers which in turn would increase the insurance premium sir i want to find out who is healthy who is unhealthy then i have to take that person to the hospital that that bear the cost that i have to bear no correct that cost i have to bear who i in the sense the insurance company insurance company has to bear insurance company will keep that cost on their head no they will pass it on to the premium they will increase the premium no when dealing with the problems of asymmetric information the most frequently cited and studied example is in economics is lemons problem okay before we go into this topic i will give you 2 3 minutes 3 minutes from here from example read it again from example till here read it again i'll give you 2 minutes
Yes. Everyone. Clear. <coughs> yes. Uh, so now there is something called as lemon's problem, which is explained here. Now you tell me. You saw that uh, example again. You read it again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Uh -huh. Here, listen. When dealing with the problem of asymmetric information, the most frequently cited and studied example in economics is the lemon's problem. So what is this lemon's? Lemon is nothing but the defective goods. I don't know why it is referred to as lemon. Lemon is nothing but defect, defective. Thus, so now see here also, there was one lemon problem. What was the lemon problem? So went on, see, uh, the number of unhealthy people went on increasing. People started losing the hopes on insurance market. People will, in future, people start losing the hopes on insurance market. High premium, there will be high premium nowadays. We have to pay somewhere 35, 36,000 rupees per premium. High premium we have to pay. pay. That's why there is high chance. There is high chance that uh, the lemons, nothing but defective items, because of increase in defective items, so there will be lemons problem. So the defective item is lemons problem. So that's why asymmetric information lead to, uh, lead to elimination of high quality goods from the market. Correct? Now healthy people, high quality goods that will get eliminated. Economic agent uh, agents end up either selecting a substandard product or leaving the market altogether. I think one example is given here. No, not given. Okay, let me explain that. If you want to purchase a car, will you go to second hand market? See, I'll give you one more example. See, I purchased a car. Example, Nexa. Uh, which car? Uh, no, Ertiga. I purchased Ertiga by paying somewhere 17 lakhs. For example, I paid 17 lakhs and I purchased Ertiga. After this, after this, I came to know that some Innova, good version of Innova, I am getting for new, brand new Innova, I am getting for 19 lakhs. Okay, 19 lakhs, I am getting brand new Innova. Ertiga Innova, both are same, almost same, look like, looks wise, looks wise same. So, I start regretting now, just two months got over, two months got over, I want to go for Innova. Can I sell Ertiga for 17 lakhs? Is it possible to sell Ertiga for 17 lakhs? Not possible. Even though I have purchased it for 17 lakhs, it is not possible. It is very difficult to sell it for 17 lakhs. Not possible. It will always be considered as second hand. People think that it is second hand. Oh, if there is, he is selling for new car, he is selling for some value. That means something mistake is there in that car. People start thinking that no. This is nothing but lemon's problem. Why? Because second hand market mein there is only what car? There is only defective cars. People think that second hand car means defective car. So that's why they never purchase second hand car at the high cost, high price. Okay. So that's why this is called as lemon's problem. So this is lemon's problem. Next one. Moral hazard. What is moral hazard? See, moral hazard arises whenever there is externality. Externality. It is about actions made after making a market exchange which may have adverse impact on the less informed person. Now example. See, on this mobile phone, example, on this iPad, iPad which I have, no? iPad. Think that I have taken insurance. Insurance on this iPad. If I have taken insurance on this iPad, don't you think my way of using iPad will change? Reckless, reckless use of this iPad. I use it in some bad extent. Bad way may I will start using it. So this is insurance, the effect of insurance. Think I don't have any insurance. Then I don't let even a scratch to, to be there on this iPad. I don't let even a scratch to be on this iPad. So that's why 
the less informed persons know they are having this moral hazard. Now, what is less informed person? Now, insurance company, do they know that I am uh, using this iPad to some bad extent or bad way? Mein? No, they don't know. Now, if something happens to this iPad, who has to bear the loss? Insurance company, correct? So that's why it occurs when one party to an agreement knows that he need not bear the consequence of his bad behavior, correct? No, or poor decision making and that the consequence, if any, would be borne by other parties. See, if laptop, something happens to laptop or iPad, who has to bear the loss? Insurance company. Then obviously reckless use, no. Therefore, he engages in risky behavior or fails to act in good faith or act in a different way than he, if he had to bear those consequences by himself. Correct? No. If there was no insurance, then how I will look at this iPad in a very good manner, sir. For example, in insurance market, a driver who has a comprehensive insurance tends to less careful while driving and may increase the probability of insurance claim. Nothing but accidents. When someone is protected from paying the full cost of their harmful actions, they tend to act irresponsibly, making the harmful consequences more likely. So if I know that insurance is there on the guardi. Then my driving will be reckless. Correct. Correct. No. My driving will be reckless here because I know that. I know that if there is something happens to the iPad or my car, nothing. I don't have to worry because insurance company will bear the loss. So this is moral hazard. This causes insurance premium to raise for everyone correct no everyone insurance car insurance will increases having discussed market failure in detail we shall look into the intervention mechanism which government adopts for combating the market failure so as to ensure greater welfare to the society so now how the government will interfere to reduce the market failure Okay, the existence of free market does not altogether eliminate the need of the government intervention. The efficient functioning of the markets, the efficient functioning of the markets will be taken care by the government. Okay, now we discussed about four kinds of market failure. What are the four reasons for market failure? Market power, externality and incomplete information plus what was one more? Uh, market power externality second one is externality no yes market power externality public goods third one is public goods and market uh, this one the market failure by yes asymmetric information or incomplete information these are the reasons important reasons how to combat these reasons or how to combat this failure given here government plays a vital role in ensuring a well-functioning market ensures that market is functioning very well by creating necessary physical infrastructure such as roads, bridges, airports and waterways. Correct. Now, nowadays, government is taking all the initiatives for this kind of public goods. One second, guys. One second.
Okay. Here, everyone. So, creating the necessary physical infrastructure such as road, bridges, airports, and waterways that will be done by the government. Why? Because private people they cannot, they cannot. Provisions of institutional infrastructure. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. The provision of institutional infrastructure such as legal and regulatory framework, establishment of rule of law, protection of the property rights, ensuring the performance. Oh, okay. Performance of the contract are are, uh, are also required. See. Wait. Correct. The contracts, performance of the contract. You have to cut this. Performance of the contract. Rule of law. Who will give the rule of law? Law is given by whom? Law is given by the Co the government, government or constitutions will make the law. So it makes sure that all the activities which are done in the uh, in the marketplace, no, it is it is legal. All the activities which are done, no, that is legal. It will make sure that everything is legal. Now, as a person, I cannot give any law. I cannot make any law, no. Correct. As a person, as a citizen, I cannot make any law. So that's why. This law, rule of law, protection of property right, ensuring the performance contracts, everything will be taken care by the government. Ensuring an appropriately framed competition and consumer law framework that regulates the activities of the firm and individuals in their market exchanges. Correct? No. Now, any consumer laws, law, consumer law, we have to protect the consumers. Why? Because consumer is the king, sir. Consumer king. Now, competition act. See, there is competition between the sellers. So, seller, these two are competitors. There is rivalry between these two. But that should not affect the consumers, no? Consumers are innocent. So, they are the king. So, you have to con protect the consumers. In the name of profit, you cannot exploit consumers we shall try to have a discussion on the forms of the government intervention to address the market failure first one government intervention to minimize the market power okay first and foremost very important one is government intervention to minimize the market power market power ko minimize karna hai what is market how to minimize the market power by decreasing the monopoly because of the social cost imposed by the monopoly, governments intervene by establishing the rule and regulation designed to promote competition. So, government always wants to promote the competition here. Government doesn't want to give the right to one person. No. Government is never in the uh, you know, interested to give the right to one person. Later, that person will become the government. He starts ruling the market. That's why government always tries to give the power, distribute the power to the people and prohibit the action that are likely to restrain competition. These legislations differ from country to country. For example, in India, so these restrictions, no, that will, that will be different from country to country. In India, we have Competition Act 2002. That means you cannot do a profit which is not justified, unreasonable. As amended by Competition Amendment Act 2007, to promote and sustain competition in the markets, the antitrust laws in the US and the Competition Act 1998 of UK, etc., are designed to promote the competitive economy by prohibiting the actions that are likely to restrain the competition. If there is any activity which will restrain the competition, prohibiting the actions which will restrain, which will likely to restrain the competition, there should not be any law which will restrain the competition. There should be competition. They will make that the competition should be there between them. Other measures include, what are the other measures? Market liberalization by introducing competition in the previously monopolistic market. 
So earlier it was monopoly, but government now wants to put some market liberalization so that everyone can work here, everyone can do the business and everyone can do the profit. Okay. Next one. Controls on mergers and acquisition. So too many mergers and acquisition will not happen. Example, now uh, Reliance, Reliance Industries Limited, RIL. They go on acquiring every company. Think all the companies, if they go on acquiring, what they become? Monopoly. In India, there is only one company, Reliance Company. This might happen in the future. Correct? No. That's why government doesn't want to be, uh, you know, give the control or the doesn't, Government doesn't want a company to make more and more of mergers and acquisition. Okay, next one. The price capping and price regulation. What is price capping? You cannot put more price. It can be a cap or a floor. They can put price capping or flooring. Example, uh, tobacco items. Tobacco, tobacco items, no, for that they will put a floor. It cannot go below that. Example, 18 rupees per cigarette, 18 rupees per cigarette. It cannot go below that. It is not possible. They will put high taxes so that it cannot go below that. So that is what price capping or price flooring. This is price flooring. What I give the example of this no that uh, tobacco that is price price flooring sir what is price capping for example petrol petrol which is very essential they will cap the price example 101 it should not go beyond that that is price capping health health care they might price uh, cap the price electricity they will cap the price it should not go beyond that that is price capping Flooring and capping here. Remember, patronage to the consumer. So, patronage to the consumer association. That means right or power is given to the consumers. Patronage, nothing but one power is given to the consumer that they can put the price whatever they want or they can complain. Complain uh, to the constitution or they can complain to the competition act. They can complain to the Consumer court. Patronage is also given. Basavaraj ji, can you please, your video is on. Huh. Stop the video. Very good. Huh. Next one, profit or rate of return regulation. Profit or rate of return regulation. So government, no? Government can put rate of return. Okay, they can put the rate of return. For example, it should not be in case of petrol. For example, in case of petrol, the profit that you get, that you should get, should not be more than so and so. They can put the capping or regulate. They will regulate the rate of return. Next one. Tough investigations into the cartelization and unfair practices such as pollution and Predatory pricing. So what is this collusion, predatory pricing, cartelization? Almost everything gives the same answer. You are making a groupism. I can say that groupism. All the companies no, selling same kind of products, they will do the group. And if there is new entry no, for to kick out that person from the market, they will do some gimmicks. So they, have, they might sell it at very less price so that the new person cannot compete. He cannot compete at all. So this is their idea. Next one, restrictions on monopoly power of the firm. So government can put some restrictions on the monopoly power. So you cannot create some that is called as holding. You know holding. Holding means simply creating shortages. If they create shortage of the product, what happens to the price? Price will increase now. No, no, goods make to goods sick time lesser. Price starts to increase now. Reduction in import controls. Import controls, that means Earlier, there were many controls on import. Now, they are not controlling the import. They are not controlling the import. They are actually encouraging the import. And nationalization, that means you produce inside the country. So, these are their ideas. So, however, sometimes we find that the government protects the monopoly position of the firm 
that have developed unique innovations. For example, patent and copyright laws grant exclusive right of the products or processes to provide incentive for inventions and innovations. Incentives for invention and innovations clearly they will give some importance. So this is about government intervention by in case of market power. I will give you two minutes. Go through all these points once again. Yes. So I hope you went through all these things. On the next one, government intervention to correct the externalities. So there are externalities, positive and negative externalities, both. So to correct that uh, externalities, government will intervene or interfere. Government will interfere to correct that externality. Okay. So government will try to correct that externality. So how they uh, try to correct the externality, sir, that is given in this point here. So what they say, as you may easily recall, freely functioning markets produce externalities because producers and consumers need to consider only their private cost and benefit and not the full social cost. Correct? No. Everyone look for their private cost. See, if I can... Uh, if, if I can recover my cost, then I am happy. What happens to the people? What happens outside that I am not bothered? I am least bothered about that. Correct. See, I smoke. Example. Example, I don't. I don't. But think that. If I smoke, then who is there besides me? I don't worry about this. Why I don't worry about this? Because I want my profit. Sir, I sell drugs, for example. Example, huh? hello, example it is. Think that if I sell drugs, okay, then, um, example, if I sell drugs, do you think I will think about their family? No, I want profit. 
correct i i want profit i don't think about their family i just want my profit so i never think about their family so this is about private profit i am not i don't look at the social cost social profits i just want my private profit okay so this is about the uh, this is about the market failure and to clear that market failure to promote the overall welfare of all the members of the society social return should be maximized and the social cost minimized social return has to be maximized social cost should be minimized this implies that all cost and benefits both private and external need to be internalized by the consumers and producers while making buying and production decisions while making buying and production decisions everything to be should be taken care of so but no one will take care of this so an externality is internalized if once that generate the externality incorporate it into their private or internal cost correct so do we do that no we don't do it correct na so we will not do it uh, that means see because of if you remember our my example the steel factory what they are doing they are leaving untreated water into the river there were fish the production of fish reduces and someone is drinking that water his health condition will get spoiled now how to internalize that that this is the cost which is caused by that person no so this factory is a uh, you know reason for all these things what they do they will put that on a person who will require steel the person who of want steel no on that person we will put that okay so this, this is about the factory so how to internalize sir not possible so benefit calculation the external benefits in the case of the positive positive it is not positive 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 externality and external cost in the case of negative externality that third parties bear in other words the key to internalizing an externality both external cost and benefit is to ensure that those who create the externality include them while making the decisions they have to include it while making the decisions okay so how to include sir very difficult one for that government initiatives towards negative externality may be classified as how the government will take initiatives to the negative externality direct control or regulations that openly regulate the actions of those involved in the generation generating negative externalities direct control that means those if you are responsible then i will government government will visit your place if you are responsible for spoiling the market government might urge you to shut your business shut down your business next one market based policies that would provide economic incentives so sometimes market based policies they might make some policies which will give the incentive it will give the incentive to reduce the externality a negative externality okay direct controls also known as this direct control also known as command solutions prohibit specific activities that explicitly create negative externality or require that the negative externality be limited to a certain level so government may say that you can do the negative externality but to a certain level not more than that there should be a level here a few examples are government may through legislation fix emission standards if the firm exceeds the limit emission standards we will keep some emission standards more than that no it can invite monetary penalties or and criminal liabilities monetary penalties so see earlier it was like if you are if you are um, even now you cannot use the plastics much in some places no if you are using plastic they will put you penalty correct no if you don't wear the mask there is penalty so licensing production quotas and mandates regarding the acceptable production processes licensing production quotas will be there so you cannot produce beyond some extent example cigarettes you can produce only 5000 packets a day more than that you cannot produce or you cannot sell that can be one of the 
restriction one among the restrictions it is the production use and sale of many commodities and services are prohibited in our country correct no many of the goods are prohibited in our country smoking is completely banned in many public places in many public places smoking is completely banned you cannot go beyond i mean you cannot keep smoking example public places may smoking is cancelled or banned correct okay wait Okay, here. Smoking is completely banned in many public places such as school or uh, it, it can be in case of school or it can be uh, near the school, near the colleges, near the public places, bus stand. There, there it is completely banned. Government may pass laws to alleviate the effect of the negative externalities. Alleviate the negative externality. Government may pass some orders. For example, India has enacted the Environment Protection Act 1986. The government may limit the amounts of certain pollutants released into water and air by individual firms or make it mandatory to use pollution control devices. Nowadays, what is happening now? Some of the businessmen in that chimney, what they do is pollution control some techniques they will put so that pollution control technique no, that they will put so that the pollution has to be reduced. So if that technique is not there, then there will be penalty, heavy penalty will be there. How you know? Abhilash, kis se baat kar rahe hai Abhilash, huh. okay. The government may insist that polluting firms install pollution abatement mechanisms to ensure adherence to the emission standards. Correct? No. Emission standards. So, they have some emission standards here. You cannot... Uh, see, nowadays, diesel car. You know that diesel cars, no? Diesel cars, that they have to... They, they are banning the diesel cars. Nowadays... Very less companies, they produce diesel car. I don't think so. Diesel car, they will produce that because that will create some pollutions. Next one. This means additional expenditure to the firm leading to raise in the firm's average cost. The average cost of the firm that will increase. That is pollution because of increase in the cost. Now, average cost will increase. That is somehow they are internalizing. Somehow they are internalizing. Government intervention in case of demerit goods. What is demerit goods? For example, cigarette, alcohol, drugs. These are demerit goods. Demerit goods are which are those which are believed to be socially undesirable. It is actually, yes, I agree. It is socially undesirable here. Examples of the demerit goods are cigarette, alcohol, intoxicating drugs, etc. Not a, There are two kinds of drugs. What is? Good drugs. The second one is bad drugs. See, medicines that you take, no, that is also drug. That is good, actually. The consumption of the demerit goods imposes significant negative externalities on the society as a whole. However, it should be kept in mind that all the goods with negative externalities are not essentially demerit goods. Example, production of steel causes pollution. But steel is not the socially undesirable goods. Remember, steel is not the undesirable goods. Steel is a good product that is actually required. But it will create some negative externality, sir. What to do? But we cannot skip to that. No. That is actually required, right? Correct. That is actually required. We cannot skip that. So keep this in mind. Okay. Sorry. 
my voice no literally hurting literally i just little bit hurting okay the production and consumption of demerit goods are likely to be more than optimal under free market see under free market it is more than optimal optimal means there is one limit so in free market it is beyond that why because there is no tax there is no government interference there is no tax at all so that's why the government should therefore intervene in the marketplace to discourage their production and consumption how do government correct market failure resulting from the demerit goods see in the free market if it's left to the people no they will start spoiling the market so that's why we have the government will interfere at the extreme the government may enforce complete ban on demerit goods complete ban but do you think it is possible no why sir because nowadays see one politician no i heard that politician politicians are very much interested in demerit goods some politicians not everyone some politicians now i heard in one uh, speech that a famous politician i don't want to name famous politician he was uh, asking some questions with the audience now one amongst the audience sir uh, alcohol ತಪ್ಪಲ್ವ ಸರ್ ಆಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ಸೇಲ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತದ್ದು ಬ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದಲ್ಲ ಆಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸರ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗೈ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಷಿಯನ್ ನೋ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವುದು ಆಗುದೇ ಇಲ್ವಾ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕುತ್ಕೊಳ್ದಿಯಾ ಇಲ್ವಾ ದಿಸ್ ಹಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದಟ್ ಗೈ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಪಾಕೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮನಿ ನೋ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಬ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಟ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ see extreme level may they can ban but the government is earning good amount of tax with the help of these kind of demerit goods that's why they don't ban through persuasion which is mainly intended to be achieved by negative advertising campaigns which emphasize the dangers associated with the consumption of the demerit goods see when you go to uh, cinema halls before the start of cinema what they do nanna jeevana chenage ittu ಜರ್ದ ಕೈನಿ ಬೀಡ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ತಂಬಾಕು ಉತ್ಪನ್ನಗಳು ನನ್ನ ಜೀವನವನ್ನೇ ಹಾಳು ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಯು ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಫೂಫು ಕರ್ನೆ ಕೆ ಲಿಯ ತೆರೆ ಪಾಸ್ ಪೈಸೆ ಹೇ ಲೇಕಿನ್ ಬಾಬಿ ಜಿ ಕೋ ಸ್ಯಾನಿಟರಿ ಪಾರ್ಡ್ ಲೇನೆ ಕೆ ಲಿಯ ತೆರೆ ಪಾಸ್ ಪೈಸೆ ನಹಿ ಹೇ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಗುಡ್ಸ್ ಕಾ ಅಡ್ವರ್ಟೈಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪೇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎಂಪಸೈಸ್ ದ ಡೇಂಜರ್ಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಗುಡ್ಸ್ positive goods ke liye they will give the advertisement again through legislations that prohibits the advertising or promotion of the demerit goods see nowadays nowhere you find the uh, advertisement for demerit goods such as cigarette and see nowadays you are getting advertisement for vimal vimal pan masala i don't know why they are giving advertisement for vimal are not required there is no other tobacco pan masala products you find any pan masala products other than vimal okay so this okay strict regulations of the market for the good may be put in place so as to limit the access to the good especially by the vulnerable groups such as children and adolescents so the government says that it is they make sure that it is not available to the the small kids kids ke liye it should not be available next one regulatory controls in the form of special restrictions example smoking in the public places sale of tobacco by away from uh, to be away from the schools and the time restrictions under which sale at particular times during the any day is banned example now alcohol you cannot you cannot sell it in the at the time of after 12 o'clock night you cannot sell it imposing unusually high taxes on producing or purchasing of the goods making them very costly and unaffordable to many is perhaps the most commonly used method for reducing the consumption of the consumption of the goods imposing unusually high taxes on producing or purchasing the goods making them very costly okay and it is unavoidable also the government can fix a minimum price below which demerit goods should not be exchanged you remember i told you here where sir 
see this one floor this is price floor i told you tobacco price floor it should not go below this no it should not go below this right now that is what explained here so government can fix a minimum price below which demerit goods should not be exchanged so the below which demerit goods should not be sold so this is about point number 7 government intervention in case of public goods okay so we will do one thing we will discuss about this in next class so my voice no literally hurting me so i cannot take the class so i have to take some rest now so here listen if you have some doubts you just let me know what we discussed in today's class sir we discussed about the incomplete information the market failure we continued incomplete information we cleared uh, in that adverse effect what is adverse selection what is moral hazard that we discussed and what are the effects how the government will intervene in the case of market power to reduce the market power to correct the externalities that we discussed and demerit goods also so if you have some doubts you can let, let me know i will clear it out is there any doubts Thank you, Ji. Thank you, Sanmi. Nothing. Uh, since morning, I'm, I've been taking classes, no? Still from 8.30. I started the class at 8.30. It is now 7.30. 7, 7 o'clock. So for 11 hours, I keep speaking, no? So that's why it's a little hurting. That's okay. Huh. If you have any doubts, please do let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for your patient listening. We will discuss about other points in next class until then keep studying keep growing everyone love you all boy and there is no okay everyone thank you so much huh? bye bye ram ram jai sri ram